everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dee and this is my channel Colorful Dreams. Uh, thank you for popping in today uh, to see what the video has to offer. Um, it might be a little more lengthier than I had anticipated to be honest um, because the um, video that I'm doing today is to show you guys some Halloween kind of uh, fall based coloring books and as I was going through a lot of my books um, because I do love like the cute creepy weird kind of stuff um, I had a lot more books than I thought I did to be honest um, and that's not including my PDFs so I'm going to try and get through it as fast as I can I don't have anything planned uh, in particular for um, like as for pictures to color and stuff like that I just kind of go with the flow uh, and however or whatever I'm feeling I color so definitely if you're coloring keep coloring away and listen and and watch or however you want to do it if you're just having one of those chill days then just put your feet up and relax grab a drink grab a snack and we will get started. I'm going to start with my PDFs first, and then I'll work in my way into the books. Let me tell you, there's a lot more books, than, like I said, a lot more books than I had anticipated. So, um, all right, let me see. I don't, uh, I lost the title page. There we go. Okay, so. Um, last year, I discovered um, a publishing company by the name of Daily Art Hour. Now, a lot of you guys have heard of them. Um, they do have a compilation book of um, a lot of their... Uh, they've taken their single books and made one gigantic book of uh, a couple of their um, ones that they have. And the Spooky Family has six different coloring books so they took those six and put them into one big book um, I have the PDF version uh, so this is pretty much it's not all six of them right at the moment but um, it's very as you can see my printer started to run out of ink but very Halloween esque oops uh, that's book two, it's, you know, and it's the cutest little uh, book, like the books are so adorable. So there's the mom, the dad, and then they have, you know, the kids and they just do day-to-day -day family stuff, just a little different than we do. So um, there are six of them, plus a compilation book on Amazon if you're interested in the spooky family uh, books. And Daily Art Hour, again, is the um, publishing company. Um, it's I've had piles of them. So, yeah, this is like the main title page of the books. They have pictures like this and cutest little things ever. I love this picture. So, lots to color, lots to have fun with. Um, you can use alcohol markers, colored pencils, whatever you feel like coloring. So that, so there are six to that set, so um, I'll just put these aside because, well, um, the next one I have, let me see if I can find it, sorry guys, Is it, no, it's not this one, it's this one. So <clears throat> before I started getting the PDFs through um, Daily Art Hour and promoting their books, I, uh, got the yeah um i was getting the hard copies but this is their creepy kawaii kingdom series um this is book five i have the hard copies of the others so i will show you those in just a moment well while we go through my books but this is the creepy kawaii kingdom vol or volume five and they have lots of fun halloween critters and creatures to color and this is just you know coloring books to have just fun in and play with your colors and that's a cute picture 
So that one is the Creepy Quiet Kingdom 5. Um, and the, like I said, the books I'm showing you are like autumnal, like things to color, autumn wise. Sorry, these are all, okay. So this one is by uh, Primrose, which is a line from Ava Brown. And this is their cute and creepy coloring book that they have. And very fun, very bold lines on these ones. But there's that one. Put these, this one back in the sleeve. Um, also, um, Deborah Muller has a lot as well of um, Halloween books. Uh, the Wee Wickets, uh, if you're if you know who Carla Magana is, which a lot of us do, there's the Wee Wickets. Um, and all her books, she has Spooky Sweets and all of them. So, again, that's just kind of some of the pictures from the Wee Wicked's book. I'll put that back in. Oh, my goodness. And there is the JN Sheets uh, Dainty Damsels Halloween Collection. Um, I can pull that out as well to show you guys. I should have pulled them all out before I did this, but I didn't, so. Some of them look very, um, what's the word? Disney-ish, but very sweet, um, pictures for Halloween. I love this picture. Um, yeah, so there's those. Um, give me a second. I just got to blow my nose. Okay, moving on with more haul Halloween books. Or Halloween. Oh my gosh. That's what I should call the video. Halloween. Um, let me see. I have tabs on different ones here. If I can find what I'm looking for would be nice. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Nope. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now that I want to find them, I can't. Ah, okay. So this was oops, this was a creepy pastel goth coloring book. Um oh, who is it? Carlin Douglas does a spooky uh, sweet coloring book and there's these here and I love this picture here and stuff like this so I'm looking forward to coloring some of these um, and like I said Deborah Muller has a few let me see um, yeah Deborah Muller has um, this is a Deborah Muller, and she has a lot of Halloween books out. Um, that's a Deborah Muller Halloween kind of based one, not that one, but this one is, you know, these here. So definitely go check out Deborah Muller if you like her kind of work. And my last PDF book I have here, oh my goodness. Um, this one is the Edwina McNamee Halloween book. Um, that's what this is. And I'm looking forward to coloring some of these pictures as well. I have colored one or two of them already. Um, but yeah, that's Edwina McNamee's Halloween book. And I don't have anything else in this PDF version. Yeah, no. So there's that. Uh, I apologize if I'm going too fast. If you want to see uh, full flips or any of the books that I've shared here, 
or are interested, let me know in the comments and I will uh, send you links if I can find them uh, to Etsy or Amazon. Either way, I can send you the links. So let's start with the stack that is actually on my desk here. So I found this book. It's called Witchcraft Coloring Book for Adults. Um, I cannot remember who it is by, but I haven't colored in it yet. Um, I got it because they're more simple pages. Um, <clears throat> but oh, as you can see, I haven't even colored in it because I haven't even broken this vine. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different... This would be cool in like purples and greens or maybe oranges and greens or, you know. Some of them are wallpaper-ish, but I mean, it's, yeah. So there's that one. It's called Witchcraft Coloring Book for Adults. Um, if you're interested in this one, I will um, find the artist in when, uh, from my Amazon orders. I'll find the name that they used and um, I'll put that in. The next one is one of my favorites by Coco Wyo. It's The Magic Diary. Um, I've colored quite a few. This is a well-loved book, to be honest. Um, for those of you who are new to watching me, I take my pages out and put them in binders. Um, if you watch I have a couple of videos showing my 12 years of coloring journey. Um, I've got part three, I think, up. I still have to do some more. Uh, that's the next video idea. But, yeah. So, this is the Magic Diary. And so, you won't see any of my finished pages in here because, um, like, oh, that's a tagged page that I wanted to do. Um, because I do take them out and I save them in plastic sheets and keep them in binders, so. I believe there's lots, I think there's lots of flip throughs of Coco Wilde's books and stuff, so. That one is The Magic Diary, and again, if you're just joining or, you know, you just pop, oh, I keep thinking I'm on a live stream, good lord, think dummy. Ugh. Um, this is just the fall and Halloween kind of books that, you know, I have collected over the years and apparently I, you can tell I love these, this stuff because, well, I have more books of these, this kind, like weird and creepy and strange than I do anything else on my shelf. So this is Witchcraft by Bella Donna and that's the back of it there. Um, I've colored a few pages already. I do, I have a bunch of pages tagged, um, but it's a easy, fun, quick color. You can do this with alcohol marker real quick, but I love the pages in it. And um, I do really want to color in it more. I just, sometimes there's just not enough time I mean, I color this stuff all year round. It's not like um, I, uh, this is one I really want to do. Um, I'm not really a seasonal colorist, but I lean, uh, I'm not a seasonal colorist, but during certain seasons, I'll lean more towards books that are aimed towards that. But I do still color all this stuff year round. So, Witchcraft Coloring Book by Bella Donna. The next one is Chibi Animal Girls by Larisa May. This is an older one of her books, 2021. And, I mean, they're not really Halloween, but you can use some of them as Halloween pages um you know color them in halloween colors if you wish or fall colors or like this one you can use a <laughs> little mouse she's cute octopus girl i want to color that one you know little halloween costumes so to speak yeah 
So that one is Chibi Animal Girls Coloring Book by Louisa May. This one is Cute and Creepy by Coloring Book Cafe. And, and like I've said, they're still up on Amazon, a lot of these books. Um, so it's a really cute one. You can um, still get them if you're interested. If there's a book that I share here today on the video and you haven't seen flips of it and you want to see a flip, let me know and I'll do a flip video. Uh, yeah, so that's Cute and Creepy Coloring Book, Coloring Book Cafe, Spooky Vibes by Alexander Franzese. I believe this is 2022. This was from last year. And... Typical Louisa May fashion, you know, light grayscale, super cute uh, characters and things to color. I actually just finished a page on, uh, while I was doing a live from this book, I think it's this one, could be the cute and spooky one, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. But the neighbor's dog is barking like crazy. So that's Spooky Vibes by Alexander Franzese. This is one of my newest books by Coco Wild, the Spooky Doll book. I think this one's absolutely adorable. Um, I haven't decided what page I want to do in it as of yet. Oh my goodness, sorry. And yes, I do apologize a lot in my videos. <laughs> Super great for um, Halloween or fall. Like this one's more like a fall picture. Really cute. The paper is weird. It's a little smoother than the, yeah. So. So yeah, that's Spooky Doll by Coco Wild. It's one of their newest ones. Then uh, Camelia and Jacoba's newest one uh, for this month was 50, well not this month, I think it was last month, um, 50 Haunted and Autumn Fairy Houses to Color. <clears throat> and I've done one page already in this. It'll be in my completed pages video for the end of the month. But there are quite a few flips of this book. If, I mean, Camellia and Jacoba is very popular, but for those of you who haven't seen, you know, the book or anything, this is a quick little flip to show you guys the autumn pages and Halloween pages. 50 Haunted and Autumn Fairy Houses to Color by Camellia and Jacoba. Um, another Larisa May one, and you'll see a lot of Larisa May and Coco Wild in here because uh, I just have, you know, some favorite artists that I stick to. And Creepy Jamboree is one of Larisa May's uh, new books. Not the newest. Uh, the newest is Creepy Kawaii Christmas, I think it is, but I think this is the one that was before it. But. This one is Creepy Jamboree, super sweet. This is one of my favorite pages. I just have to figure out what colors I'm doing, but really great for Halloween and stuff like that. So that is the Creepy Jamboree by Louisa May. This is Adorable Monsters by Southern Lotus. And, of course, with Halloween and spooky season, who doesn't like, you know, coloring little cute monsters that come out of the shadows during All Hallows' Eve? So, I figured this would be a good one for the pile of Halloween and autumn books. 
because all kinds of weird creatures come out, don't they? At least that's the stories we get, you know. Oh my goodness, that dog next door. Poor thing. So that's Adorable Monsters by Southern Lotus. Um, this one I color in quite a bit. Um, I forgot I even had it. And it is Cute and Creepy Chibi Girls Kawaii Coloring Book. And I can't remember who the artist is. Give me a second. Oh, crap. I forgot the artist's name. I don't think, yeah, they don't have, oh, I forgot the artist's name. That's the ISBN number if you're interested. So, um, it's really cute for Halloween. I found this book on a fluke kind of thing. It's good for all year round, but mostly around this time, you know, you can color in it any time, really. And again, no, no ideas of what I'm going to color or as of yet. I just kind of go with the flow and live moment by moment. And whatever my heart desires at the time is what I'm going to color. This one is calling out to me, um, but we shall see. Yeah, I can't remember who the artist is for this. It's really bothering me. I don't know if it's Alice Gilmore. Or, yeah, Cute and Creepy Chibi Girls Kawaii Coloring Book. Um, this one is another Larisa May one. It's Kawaii Goth Cute and Creepy Coloring Book. And, no. Oh, come on. True Larisa May style. She's amazing at the Cute and Creepy. I love any of her cute and creepy, weird books. I'm all over it, honestly. <clears throat> so that one is Kawaii Goth by Larisa May. <clears throat> now we're getting into The Creepy Kawaii Kingdom by Daily Art Hour. I showed you book five because that was in PDF form. This is book one. And... Oh my goodness, that poor puppy next door. He doesn't get out much, and he's a boxer, and he's living in a little apartment, and he doesn't get taken out. His owner leaves him all day. He was already um, a rescue because the people couldn't take care of him, and the people who gave him to my neighbor didn't even come and inspect or anything the house. So, yeah, I just feel sorry for the pup, and he's becoming angry and vicious with people, so. Um, yeah, so Creepy Quiet Kingdom, coloring book one. This one is coloring book two by Daily Art Hour. Now, like I said, they have compilation books of all their um, series books. So if you don't want to have six different books on your shelf, you can buy one big, thick book. Um, for yourself and or you can do PDF version either way so coloring book 2 creepy quiet kingdom this one is the fourth one I don't know where book 3 is it's somewhere in my pile I believe and this isn't everything that um, I have I still have more like after this video, there's still lots on PDF. I just haven't printed them off because ink isn't cheap. I mean, I'm on the ink program through uh, HP, but still, I still have to pay every month for uh, this one. I might color this one this month. I'm not sure yet, but yeah. <laughs> a pumpkin guy with a sombrero. <laughs> That's cute. So, yeah. Super cute. 
easy coloring for if you just want some simple coloring. But Creepy Kawaii Kingdom Coloring Book 4. Another Larisa May one is Creepy Kawaii Halloween. And the reason I'm sharing, I know there's been lots of these videos up on on uh, YouTube, but we like sharing all the books that we have, and each of us are different. We all have different tastes, and, um, you know, we like sharing them because... If you're new to coloring or just starting your coloring journey, seeing some new books that you might like from everybody's channels, you know, you can get quite a few books, you know. Um, yeah, so Creepy Quiet Halloween, and it gives you choices uh, as to what kind of things you're looking for, too. Next one is 50 Halloween Miniatures by Camelia Androkova. This one was quite popular as well. It's part of her miniature series. This one has all black backgrounds. Really cute. Again, another simple coloring kind of page, you know. But relaxing. And remember, coloring is... It's not about the supply. It's not about, you know, it's about you. It's all about you and how it makes you feel. It's supposed to be a good therapy and stress-free activity. So just remember that when you are coloring. Just color for you. Oh, 50 Halloween Miniatures by Camelia and Jacoba. Another one is Spooky Cutie by Coco Wayo, another one of my Coco favorites. Um, they got waterlogged, which pees me off, but Oops. I skipped quite a few pages there. <laughs> yep, yeah, definitely one of my favorite. I color this book all year round, though. I love coloring in this book. So, yeah, that's Spooky Cutie by Coco Wild. Another Coco book is Witchcraft. As you can see from all the tabs here that I have lots that I love to color in this book. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it. And... Oh, come on. I cannot break the spine today. Really fun, you know, autumnal Halloween stuff to color. Beautiful pages. So that's Witchcraft by Coco Wayo. Next one is Cute Monsters by Coloring Book Cafe. And Weird Creatures, which I love. I love this little witch. It kind of, it brings back like what I was telling uh, Zoe from Addicted to Coloring. When I was a kid, this is the way I would draw witches with like warts and like just weird funny noses, you know. The way I always picture, pictured witches. Nowadays, witches are, you know, drawn beautiful and, yeah. I love this guy. He's so funny. He looks like a Pokemon of some sort. But, yeah. So that is Cute Monsters by Coloring Book Cafe. Back to the Coco Wayo books. Um, Adorable Goth by Coco Wayo. <clears throat> and, go. Oh, yes. and again, it's, you know, simple coloring, but yet yeah, fun. Have, go crazy with your colors because they are creatures that aren't real. So who depicts what, you know, these creatures look like? 
we can decide what they look like in our own heads. So that's the fun of having books with creatures like this, like this thing here. You can color them blue, purple, yellow, orange, however you want to color them. I love this page. Oh, pumpkin head. We had a dog. So that's Adorable Goth by Coco Wyo. The fun part is going to be putting all these books back. I'm just going to open my window a bit more. Get some more air in here. Oh, goodness. Another Coco Wyo book is Cute Witch Stuff. They, I bought these books when Coco Wyo was like going actually ham crazy over, you know, when they were popping out all those books that one year. They just didn't stop coming, you know, and uh, I just couldn't buy them fast enough, to be honest. <clears throat> I like this page. And I don't mind. Really cute Halloween -y coloring book or coloring pages. So that one is cute with stuff. And again, I color all these things year round. Some of them I don't. Some of them are just pulled out for, you know, October or whatever. But um, cute and creepy, kawaii chibi. Um, I believe it's an Alice Gilmore book, if I'm not mistaken. This one. I can't remember. But, oops, let's start from the back. How's that sound? So, there's stuff like this in it. Oh, those are the extra freebie pages that come with the book. <clears throat> and... Fun pages. I haven't colored this one yet. I, I'm drawn to this page here, to be honest. Like the yin-yang sort of thing, but it's the sun moon, so I'll have to see how that works out for me. Some of these pages I I, I do want to color throughout the month, but um, not sure how I'm going to go about it or what pages exactly it's whatever my heart desires at the moment so that is cute and creepy quite chibi coloring book um, this is charming chibi chills a cute and creepy coloring book it's by the same artist um, and let me see yeah Alice Gilmore is the artist I knew I thought it was her but I didn't want to make a mistake, so. They're all single-sided. Create space paper, of course. Just Amazon. Oh my goodness, that pup. <clears throat> I'm watching my time, because I don't want the video to be more than an hour, so. And I'm trying to move as fast as possible throughout the video. I hope you guys are all doing well and enjoying the month of coloring. Oh, charming chippy chills. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are all enjoying the month of coloring and enjoying your art and taking time for yourself and your mental health and everything else. <clears throat> um, Creepy Fantasy by uh, Louisa May. Um, Louisa May's books are usually, you know, typical kind of her style, really. It looks like Harley Quinn. I think that's what it's meant to be, but <clears throat> she's cute. Just weird, odd, you know, sweet things. She makes everything look so adorable, you know. So, that is Creepy Fantasy, Quiet Pastel Coloring Book by Louisa May. Another Louisa May one is Pastel Goth, 
cute and creepy coloring book. These lines are a little bolder uh, next to her other ones. I've colored quite a few of these pages because I think this book and the next one that I'm going to show you are the two ones that had me really fall in love with uh, Larisa May's artwork. So... Oh yeah, that is Pastel Goth, Cute and Creepy Coloring Book by Larisa May. This one is Creepy Kawaii, Pastel Goth by Larisa May. And all the pages are different. They're not duplicated in any of her books. Um, I know on Amazon, like, you'll get, like, a book that says Pastel Goth, and then you'll have this one that says Creepy Kawaii, and they'll have... Um, they're the same book, just different titles. Um, just be wary because a lot of them are Louisa May pictures, the, the fake ones. They do steal Louisa May's work. Um, so there are a lot that don't, but a lot of them steal, you know, all the good artists' stuff. Um, like Louisa May and um, Alice Gilmore and stuff like that. Yeah, so... Super cute. Creepy Quiet Pastel Goth by Larisa May. This is Scary Chibi Coloring Book by Larisa May. And it's got all these. Um, they're more movie characters in this book. You know, um, like Wednesday, Alice in Wonderland, <clears throat> The Joker. They're Beetlejuice. I'm assuming that's what? Frankenstein? I don't know. Yeah, a lot of them are movie based, so. Yeah, Edward Scissorhands. So this one is Scary Chibi Coloring Book by Larissa May. Um. This one is by Alexander Francis. It's Magical Chibis. Um, there are a few pages in here that you can use as um, Halloween pictures. Oh, I just gotta find them, that's all. You can turn any of these into a Halloween picture if you'd like, but like this girl here, um, you can do her. Um, Yeah, there's a couple in here that you can you can do them all, but some of them are more aimed at like a Halloween kind of theme than like this one. But yeah, so that one's Magical Chibis by Alexander Franzese. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> this is Cute and Spooky Coloring Book by Jade Summer, but Alexander Franzese was actually the artist for this book. And again, simple, easy coloring. You can do alcohol marker. I like doing, on these books, I like doing alcohol marker base. And then I um, use my colored pencils to do some shading. But lots of people like to use their um, alcohol marker in these books. Like Jade Summer books and stuff. So... Really cute, fun, quick, mindless coloring, really. I don't want to flip too fast, but I have so many books still. I still have another 30 or some odd books to show you guys. So like I said, if there's a book you really want to see me flip, let me know and I will pull it out and do a full flip for you. Cute and Spooky Coloring Book by Jade Summer. Um... This one is Chibi and, well, it's supposed to be Chibi Creatures, but it has the and there, which is weird. Um, I can't remember. Yeah, I don't think there was a specific artist. Um, I think this was just like a, a book I found. It's not the greatest, um, but, I mean, it's got weird creatures in it, so... 
uh, at one point in my coloring journey, I was just obsessed with like pastel goth books. And whatever popped up, I would buy. Uh, I learned very quickly that <laughs> not every book was, um, you know, a winner, to be honest. So that one is Chibi Creatures. Don't know the artist. Um, the next two books are by Emily Chawa. I found her a um, couple, well, at the beginning of the year I found her. And I fell in love with her stuff and her style. This is Izzy Spooky Adventures Camp Creep, and there's um, six bonus pages, but you can also get free pages through her um, for signing up. Where is it? Right here. Access free bonus digital coloring pages, and you can get um, the pages through her, you know, visit emilychawa.com. Enter your email address, click download free pages, and you'll get sample pages from the book. So, but really fun. I mean, it's camp, so you can color this all year round. It's just more of the creepy kind of Halloween feel to it. I love this picture. It's so funny. She's hiding in the pond, being abducted by aliens, inside some kind of cave, zipline, spooky girl squad it says. Really fun stuff. So that's Izzy's Spooky Adventures, Camp Creep. Um, this is the first one, which is Izzy Spooky Adventures. Same thing, you just go to emilychawa.com and you can get your free secret pages through that. She's throwing meat down for all these creatures under the floor. Definitely interesting. I should color in these more. But you know how you, you know, you find books on Amazon that you really like and then you buy them with intent on coloring and then another new book comes in or shows up on Amazon and then you want that. You order that and this book then becomes the very bottom of the pile and the pile just keeps being stacked upon. So by the time you realize it, you're like, oh crap, I wanted to color those pages but, you know, I forgot because it got buried so it is the life of being a coloring addict unfortunately that's why um, I'm trying to slow down I haven't found many books that I have been interested in as of late so I've been trying to slow down on buying whatever and um, kind of just sticking to the ones I do have to color in so uh, Izzy Spooky Adventures by Emily Chawa and let me grab the next pile here. Oh my goodness. So next one I have is Witchcraft Coloring Book for Adults by Morgana Sky. I love witchcraft stuff. If you, I don't practice witchcraft. Um, witchcraft is depending on which way you go. A lot of it is more spiritual, but some people go the dark way and doesn't end well. So yeah. I just love anything to do with witchcraft, like coloring-wise. I just, I find it very interesting, so. Yeah, whoops. Book of Shadows. Tarot cards. Yeah, and those are just the thumbnails. So that's Witchcraft Coloring Book. For Adults by Emily Chawa. Then I have 50 Halloween Fairy Houses by Camelia Andrikova. This one was last year's Fairy House book by her. I think it was the first one, to be honest. Her very first Fairy Houses book, to be honest. This is more Halloween and creepy, whereas the, the one she has this year, um, every other page is um, a, an autumnal or fall picture. 
This one is just strictly Halloween, creepy, weird stuff. This year's one is, you know, she split it into two. So half the pages are, you know, just regular aut autumn pages and then Halloween pages. Nonetheless, I still love my fairy houses, so definitely this one for sure this year. 50 Halloween Fairy Houses by Camille Andrikova. Next one is Coco Wayo, Weird Couple. And here we go. This couple is the cutest look things ever. Like, they just, look at the bat. If you've ever watched um, The Walking Dead, Lucille, his, uh, what's his, Negan's bat, that's what that looks like to me. I love the line work and the artwork in these books. I really do. I like this style of drawing with, like, the sketchy kind of look. All the masks and the voodoo doll. <laughs> He's putting that one together. This little guy's hanging off going, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Aw. I love it. So that is Weird Couple by Coco Wayo. <clears throat> uh, then we have Spooky Town by Coco Wayo. And... I colored a few pages in these books from last year. Very Halloweenish. I mean, you can get away with this for spring if you really want to because, you know, just because they're weird and creepy doesn't mean the world stops during the seasons. So, yeah, they just live in their own little realm in their world. So, so be it. Sometimes a lot of us are in our own little world and in our heads. So, that is Spooky Town by Coco Wild. Then we have Spooky Girl by Coco Wild. Um, this one came before the Spooky Town one. Um, I think this started a big hype last year of spooky, weird coloring books. Spooky girl coloring books, so. I'm, I'm really wanting to do this one, so. Um, I'm coloring a page right now, but I will be coloring this one. Super cute stuff, and... See, everyday things, bus and school and telling stories in a graveyard. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that one's Spooky Girl. Here is book three from uh, Creepy Kawaii Kingdom. Super adorable, uh, easy characters, like I mentioned before. I know I sound like a bloody broken record, don't I? Creepy Quiet Kingdom, Coloring Book 3. Um, this one is Amazing Witchcraft by Allie Wonder Pie. Um, if you look up Allie Wonder Pie on uh, um, Amazon, uh, she still has, or I don't know if it, I think it's a publisher, but... They still have um, books under that name. Um, and it's one of those AI coloring books. Uh, I bought this, I guess, this is when I realized about the AI coming out really bad. Like, not really bad, but it was like, it became a huge thing. 
Um, some of the pictures are all right. Some of them are, you know, just, yeah. So. So that is Amazing Witchcraft by Ellie Wonderpie. Then we have this one. It's by Enchanted Colors. It's not great as well. Um, I mean, better than some of the books I have, but this is good for, you know, my daughters and when they're bored to just kind of throw color to the page with my markers. <clears throat> this looks like Chris Reiniak stuff, but. Yeah, so here's that one. And like I said, I'm just pulling, I was just pulling stuff off my shelf, so that would suit the Halloween season and fall. So Creepy Kawaii by Enchanted Colors. This one is by Color Kara. Um, it's Little Spooky Chibi Witches, a mythical coloring book. Um, and it's like a little story of this little witch that comes across like a treasure chest and pirate stuff that floated up on her island and she goes on this pirate journey and I think it's super cute yeah she's still a witch but being a pirate at the same time so Queen Maya's Revenge. Uh, yeah, there's her little boat that she's getting ready to go, and she found the treasure map with the treasure chest for the treasure chest. All this stuff just kind of floated up, or actually, she summoned it, as you can see with her wand broom. But she sees the hat floating, and that's what starts her adventure. So, yeah. Little Spooky Chibi Witches by Color Cara. Um, this is one of my favorites as well. It's by Scary Trick Publishing. It's an adult coloring book, Creepy Chibi. I've colored two picks in this already. But I love the chibi characters in this. It's not a very big book, but I just love the chibi characters in it. Yeah, Creepy Chibi by uh, Scary Trick Publishing. Um, this one here, this company is actually um, not on Amazon anymore, but I grabbed a few books by them before they disappeared. Um, Goth Fairies by Lifestyle Grayscale Press. And a few people grabbed these books up um when they popped up and then they just poof gone off of um, Amazon but they are AI I like that one that one's cool but regardless you know some of them are really cute and pretty and just simple, easy coloring with either alcohol marker, gel pens, fine liners, whatever you want to use. So, yeah, that one is Goth Fairies by Lifestyle Grayscale Press. This one is Creepy Kawaii by Scary Trick Publishing. This was another one of my favorites from last year. To color in. I love the little characters in this. Like this little guy in a mushroom field, and oh, this one's stuck. With my tag, little bunny. All my tags are stuck. I love these pages. This little guy. I picture this one green. Don't ask me why. I just picture that guy green. This little guy. He's so funny.
this one I really had my eye on last year. I just never got around to coloring them. Little mustache. And little bunny. So that's Creepy Clay Pastel Goth by Scary Trick Publishing. Um, this one is Creepy Clay by Fan Jess is the publisher or artist, whoever, but another AI coloring book, obviously, but it has some really cool pictures in it. Definitely some of them are interesting, so... So there's that one, which is Creepy Kawaii Coloring Book by Fan Jess. Another Creepy Kawaii from The Art of Coloring is the publishers. And these are the pages. These are AI as well, but I kind of like the pages, some of them. This one's just so pretty. <clears throat> Some of them, you know, are easier, and then you have different pages that aren't so easy, you know. A little bit more detailed, different artists. That one's cute. That one's so cute. So yeah, that is Creepy Kawaii, The Art of Coloring, Coloring Book. Um, this one is Spooky Kawaii by Esmeralda Wickersham. And these are the pages in here. quick pages so that's Spooky Kawaii by Esmeralda Wickersham okay, I'm at about an hour and I have one stack left for you guys and I'll try to get through them as quick as possible <clears throat> so I know the video is already long enough but this is all of my books uh, for this season in one video pretty much so um, this is Super Cute Halloween Coloring Book by May Yu. I believe there are doubles in these books, in May Yu's coloring books. So, they're just quick, simple, easy. It's a square coloring book, very small compared to other size coloring books, if you know what May Yu's books are like. Miss Pumpkin... This one's Gothic Cuteness, Zombie Pup, she names all her pages, Halloween Buddies, Devious Darling, Fairy Magic, Moonlit Crit Cutie, Franken Girl, Spooky Sisters, Vampire Cuteness, Candy Giver, First Time Flyer, Autumn Lover, Creepy Cuteness, Candy Lovers, The Pumpkin Keeper, Candy Collector, I think we're back, yeah, and we're back to, so that's, this is the, this is the second set, the one that I showed you, but that's Super Cute Halloween, Spooky Cute Coloring Book by May Yu. This book here is Voodoo Vixens. I had first seen these on, I believe it was, oh goodness, apologies about the dogs barking. Um, oh crap, what was her name? What is her name? Um, Nikki and Niagara, that's who it was. Um, this is Voodoo D Vixens by Voodoo Designs, Kelvin Grant. Um, I bought them because I saw the pages and I liked the big bold lines and then I changed my mind. These are very busty women. Um, yeah, it wasn't what I thought. For some reason I wasn't 
actually looking at that part of the women, but they are very busty. Let's just put it that way. It's very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't even know what the word is, but yeah. But yeah. So this is Voodoo Vixens coloring book by Voodoo. Um, this is the other book I got by Voodoo. It's Creature Feature. Um, and it's got different creatures of the night and it's a phoenix. Giant slime, cyclops, just very strange creatures, I guess. Very bold lines, though. So great for alcohol markers if you just want to do a quick alcohol marker coloring. <clears throat> I haven't touched these books yet, but Creature Feature Coloring Book by Voodoo. All right. Um, Spooky Baby. I believe this is by Crook Crook, if I'm not mistaken. Just give me a second. Yeah, I can't remember who this is by. Trying to see. Yeah. Anyways, um, this is what it looks like. Really cute. Could be by Coco Wild, but I don't think so. I could be wrong though. Each of them have like a saying. There's something lying underneath the seams, you know, stuff like that. Do you want to play a game? This is what happens when you disobey her. No one leaves this place. I have tried, you know, stuff like that. So, so that is Spooky Baby. I thought it was Crook Crook, but it could be Coco Wild. I'm not 100% sure. Could be. I think it might be Coco Wild, honestly. Doesn't say, but not saying who in it. Let's see the last pin. Yeah, there's nothing there. I have to find out for you guys. Um, next one is 50 Halloween Mandalas by Camelia Andrakova. I haven't touched this one. Um, I might try this year maybe I'm not a mandala uh, when I bought this book I used to do mandalas but um, yeah I kind of lost the interest and you'll see why because I used to color lots of mandalas if you watch my um, beginning of my 12-year coloring journey you'll see quite a few mandalas and very detailed pages and yeah so So this one is 50 Halloween Mandalas by Camelia Andrakova. Next one is by Duria Kakersoy. It's from Halloween to Christmas. Um, it's the only Duria Kakersoy book I have. I'm probably saying her name wrong or butchering it, so I apologize. But, um, like I said, it's from Halloween to Christmas. So there are, let me get to the Halloween pages. Yeah, here. Vampire Witch. Elizabeth, um, Moon Witch, Puppet, Vampire, Sweet Witch, uh, Cute Ghost, yeah, so there's that one from Halloween to Christmas, Grayscale by Duria Kafrasoy, and there is Spooky Kawaii, who is this by KJ Ness. And again, it's another spooky kawaii book. Another one you can use alcohol markers in. Pretty simple coloring book, you know. May look childish, but you know what? Sometimes that's all you need is something that seems childish and you make a page a masterpiece. So, Spooky Kawaii by KJ Ness. 
Um, this one is Kawaii Spooks. I uh, can't remember again. Crap. I can't remember the artist, but really cute little creatures. A little cow. Look at them. Dressed up as a vampire. Just creatures and weird stuff dressed up. Little voodoo doll and... And with these pages, you can add, like, with, it may look simple, like, simple line work, but once you start shading and stuff, you can turn this page into something really, you know, interesting, to be honest. Kawaii Spooks. I wish I remembered the artist, but I can't at the moment. Um, let me see this one. Magical Forest Demons, Who Are You By Again, Just Indie Creative World, and Cute Little Forest Critters, another AI coloring book. When I got this book, um, it showed these pages in the back, so those are what caught my eye, and then I got the book, and it just ended up on my shelf, so... Leave it for my grandson when he wants to scribble or whatever. Oops. But here's that one, which is Magical Forest Demons. Next one is by Lifestyle Grayscale Press. Uh, this one's another one, Secret Worlds. And this one's pretty. I like some of the pictures in here. They're really pretty. I've colored quite a few of the um, AI pictures just something about them. That one's pretty. Yeah. Just because they're AI, you know. I mean, the detail isn't as in-depth with some, you know, AI books, but they're fun to color. So that one is Secret Worlds by Lifestyle Grayscale Press. This is Ornamental Owls by Edwina McNamee. This was one of my first um, <clears throat> Edwina McNamee books. This is uh, the book that got me hooked on Edwina's stuff. Um, half of the book is on black background and half of the book is on white. But a very autumnal, fall kind of feeling to them. I always envisioned owls as an autumn fall creature. Um, I don't know why. I know they're year round, but yeah. Ornamental Owls by Edwina McNamee. We're almost there, guys. Maybe about 10 books to go. Um, Creepy Kawaii by Edward Lopez. I believe it is. Yep. And these are the pictures in this one. Pretty straightforward. I really, th this one's interesting. I do like this one. Oops. So yeah, Creepy Kawaii by Edward Lopez. Um, pastel Goth. Trying to see the artist. Oh, Activity Lover Press. This one's more of a kid's kind of go crazy kind of coloring book. Or easy coloring, I guess you can say. So yeah, there's that one. Like I said, you can't always get winners if that makes sense. Not every coloring book you buy is going to be a winner. So this is the Creepy Goth Fairies by Lifestyle Grayscale Press. I have the Goth Fairies, but the pictures are different from this. So I think they are anyways. I never actually paid much attention, but I think they're different. Yeah, the pages are different. So that's Creepy Goth Fairies by Lifestyle Grayscale Press. Creepy Kawaii by... Oh my goodness, guys. I apologize. Nicholas Dominic is the name. 
And that, I realized, these were pictures that were, um, as you can see, I have the, they're Carlin Douglas pages and stuff. So these are stolen artworks. So, yeah. I just thought, you know. But yeah, that one's, I mean, I, I'm even showing you guys books what not to buy because it has stolen artwork in it. So don't pick this one up, but it is a book I have for the season. Uh, cute and creepy chibi. I believe it's by Brockmeyer. Allison Brockmeyer, I think it is. What is her name? I can't remember. But let me see. No, it's under WA Publishing. But there is an artist to this. I know there is, because I have another book. But this one's a good book. I really like this one. Great book for the season. Definitely interesting. None. So yeah, that is cute and, cute and creepy chibi coloring book by W.A. Publishing. Where you buy? I cannot remember. Damn it! I uh, can't remember. But that is the ISBN, and it's got some. It's not a very big coloring book, but it's got some cute pages in it. It's not so creepy as you know Halloweenish animals. Or like autumnal feeling kind of pages. So that one's pastel goth coloring book. Spooky Kawaii by Sally Berry. She put this one out last year before Sally Berry had to change their name. Almost there, guys. Almost there, I promise. Uh, next one, this one might be by Crook Crook. No, Annie Ansem, sorry. Spooky Vibe Girl. Um, it's by Annie Ansem. And I like the sketchy look, like the sketch work on, this, on these pages here. I love the artwork. Very light. Um, it almost looks faded, to be honest. Definitely interesting. So if you're like creepy, but don't like too gory. I mean, there are gory pages in here, but not too gory. But it's Spooky Vibe Girl by Annie Ansem. Now we're getting into the colored caramel ones. This is Sweet and Creepy by Colored Caramel. And they do Halloween and Sweet Creepy quite absolutely. They're my favorite um, colored caramel. I absolutely love the way she draws her characters and her spooky, weird creatures. The, this one is one of her first books, um, Colored Caramel's first books, so that's sweet and creepy. This is another one of their first books. It's Deadly Cute, Kawaii Pastel Mandala coloring book. Um, yeah. Her cute and creepy stuff is, I absolutely adore it, like this here. Cute pages to color. This little look at all the little dragons. Oh, so cute. So there's that one by Color Caramel. Um, cute and creepy, quite pastel goth by Color Caramel. Super fun pages. Really cute. And she's always so original with her work. I absolutely love 
how original she is with her artwork. I see this all in blue, like in blues, blue flames for some reason. I don't know why, I just do. So that one is cute and creepy, quite passed out goth coloring book. Then we have let's see, um, cute but spooky coloring book by Colored Caramel. So there's that one, cute but spooky. Um, Chibi Girls Halloween by Colored Caramel. <clears throat> they have lots of Halloween books as well, so definitely check them out. I don't have hard copies for some of them. I have lots of PDFs, so um, yeah. They have like Gnome... Gnome's Halloween and lots of, you know, Halloween books. I just don't have them printed off at the moment. So, so this is Chibi Girls Halloween by Colored Caramel. This is Cute and Creepy Pastel Goth Doodles by Colored Caramel. I love the way she does her doodle pages. So this will be fun to do in color. So that's cute and creepy, quite pastel goth doodles. And another one I have is the pastel doodles and patterns. Um, these are the ones I have on hard copy. The others, and I mean there's lots of others, you can check it out on Amazon um, by Colored Caramel. They have lots of great Halloween books and, you know, weird, cute stuff to color. So, definitely go check them out on Amazon or even Etsy if you like PDFs like I do. So, that's the Pastel Goth Doodles and Patterns. Um, this one is Gothic Chibi Girls by Larisa May. And again, original pages, no duplicates from any of her books. So that one's Gothic Chibi Girls Coloring Book by Larisa May. Um, Creepy Doll by Coco Wyo. And any of these pages will work for the season. I'll have to uh, catch up with Zoe from Addicted to Coloring and see if, if any of these pages, you know, from any of the similar books that we have, we can do and, you know, save on doing extra pages for our uh, tag that we are doing. But that's a whole new other video um, that will be coming out either Probably tomorrow I'll be putting out my R tag video, so keep an eye out for that. Um, this is Creepy Dog Coco Wild. Um, let's go with this one, which is the last one. It's the Cute and Creepy Coloring Book by Camilla Derrico. Um, this one is not Amazon printed. It has very nice paper. It is double-sided, so if you want to sacrifice a page on the back... Um, then I guess to use alcohol marker, that's up to you. Um, I have because, I mean, certain pages I know I won't color, but I love Camilla Derrico's work. Um, yeah, it's super adorable. And I just might end up doing a page on one of my live streams from Camilla Derrico's, uh, this book here for October, so. Yeah, so that's that. That is the Pop Manga Cute and Creepy. And that pretty much sums up all my weird 
Halloween fall coloring books. Uh, thank you. If you have stayed till the end, I appreciate you. You guys are awesome. And um, I will have a couple more new videos coming out within the week. So keep uh, your eye out for those if, you know, you're interested in that. And let me know in the comments if there's any books or which books you liked or are interested in or any of that. Um, and remember, my colorful dreamers, to stay safe, be kind, keep smiling, happy coloring dreamers. And until my next video, hugs and bye.